regardless of whether they ever heard about God or not. Uh, okay, anyone else? That it is important for every person to be sufficiently pre present to himself. Okay, sufficiently present. To, it says sufficiently. So that means that will we ever be fully present to ourselves? But it says sufficiently present to himself in order to hear and follow the voice of his conscience. This requirement of interiority is all the more necessary as life often distracts us from any reflections, self-examination, or introspection. And it's just a passage here. Return to your conscious, question it, turn inward between uh, brethren, and in everything you do, see God as your witness. And this sounds like one of the readings it says 51, <laughs> so I'm going to try to find that one. But anyhow, uh, so our duty is to continuously question ourselves, our motives, uh, to every decision we're going to make that is of relevance, uh, uh, put it in front of us and in God's presence to seek what is the will of God versus mine? And that, that is a duty that we have uh, because we can easily be swayed by the distracted, like it says here, yeah, being too, too busy, not, not enough time to prayer, uh, pressures in society. I mean, and we all understand that. Sometimes in our work environments, we are as or uh, to do things that we might have questions about the, the, the morality of. Um, I remember I, uh, I, was, I came in uh, to a new office within the same organization. I transferred from one department to another. And, and they have uh, two individuals, and the organization ha apparently has selected one for for uh, continued development and the other one for the reasons they had, uh, they, they didn't think it was uh, worth uh, putting a lot of effort and time on. And as a new person coming to supervise a group, I didn't feel comfortable with what my uh, immediate supervisor was asking me to do, you know, to continue that pattern. So I had to make a choice, you know, uh, and, and as time went by, I raised a lot of waves with this and uh, put a lot of uh, uh, burden on myself uh, because I fall out of, of grace with my, my, my immediate supervisor, which is not good. But I didn't see any lack of, uh, I mean, I tried it, I tried her, and I didn't see any lack of... Uh, of, of knowledge, understanding, ability, and capacity to learn in this other lady. So I, I didn't see a reason for me to just come in and impose something that someone else was telling me based on their own understanding because I had my own and I was closer to the situation. And, and I paid a heavy price for that. I did. It was held there while I was there because that was one of the things, among others, that I was asked to do that I couldn't do. I just couldn't do it. And after a while, I just ended up leaving the organization, but it took me a good three years uh, before I found another place to go, and, and it was hell for me. I could have avoided that very easily. Very easily, I could have avoided that, just go with the program. But I, I just couldn't do it. Uh, because, uh, you know, when you're raised to understand what fairness is and to appreciate it, and you yourself have sometimes found you at the, at, the, at the lower end of, of that. Uh, I mean, it's, it's almost like, uh, and it happens, but uh, uh, you have an abusive father, and all of a sudden now you abuse your children. I mean, it's just a continuation of the thing you know, that, that you were subjected to, and then you're doing it to others, you know. And, and, and in just based on its principles, I couldn't do it. So, and, and oftentimes, you know, in, in environments, you will find that that, that, that happens. Yeah, just a question on that, Deacon. Uh, 
let's say there's a situation similar to that, it could be... In yeah, it could be a variety of things. Yeah, yeah life, exactly. Does some of that also come to your own humility, though, that you might see there's something wrong and it's out of kilter, which what you think is moral, mm -hmm. um, and it might be, and I'm not trying to spread more, more relativism that everything's the same, right, 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 maybe right. in your own mind, it's, you're seeing it as not moral, but they're seeing it in a different Mm -hmm. way. Mm -hmm. Does mm -hmm. that come back to you? Yes, yes, I, I understand exactly what you're saying. That maybe you could humble yourself a little more and then say, well, maybe they're doing that in the best interest of quite understand it. Right, right. Yeah, you're right. You're right that, that when there is not a consequence. Or with your wife or something like that. Right, that right, right. I'm right and I know I'm right. And yeah, if the consequence is minimal, and I and that's something that I didn't say, mm -hmm. uh, the, basically the whole thing was leading towards getting rid of this individual. That eventually she would have lost the job. And I was going to participate that in that by signing the performance appraisals. I mean, so that it was, it was an, an impact that I could not cause, you know. But it is true that if it is of minor impact and it's just a, a matter of, uh, you know, choosing one or the other and just as one is going to raise the other, she's going to keep it, the job that it has now. Yes, yes, I would, I would agree with you. And there are situations like that where you say, okay, I, uh, the, 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 the impact here is not such that I need to then act in a rebellious way, uh, question authority uh, openly, etc. because that, that in itself is immoral. So, you know, you cannot correct a good by, by doing an evil. <laughs> that, that is a principle that, that, that is well established. But, uh, I'm just saying yeah, no, I understand what you're saying. That, yes, uh, yes. Workplace, yes, yes. Where people really, yeah, that happens because I'm a little self righteous. Yes. They don't really understand everything yeah. else that's connected. Right. They're only seeing their own situation. Truly. Truly, and, and, and even if it is not, uh, uh, I mean, the, to be able to correct every unfair situation is impossible for anybody. Uh, so I agree with you in that, uh, you know, the, uh, I, I think uh, the effect, the impact that, that those situations have, and uh, how in the process we might be protecting ourselves and uh, sometimes even uh, engracing ourselves at the expense of others without saying anything. There may be, in fact, uh, an impossibility for, for one to do anything, but uh, did you at least, or did we at least take the moment to raise the issue and try to make uh, the conscience of that other person understand that, you know, I think this is not right for the following reasons, and maybe that we could approach it a different way. And if you're given the order, no, go execute, and, and you feel that there's no real uh, impact that, that, that would cause a, 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 such an injustice that, you know, I say, yes, go ahead and, and submit, you know. Yeah, I don't want anyone to get me wrong. Now. No, no, you, I understand exactly what you're saying. You know, they're doing something that truly is a crime or something. Right. you got to speak up. But, right. You know, if it's more of a, I'm right in there. Yeah, exactly. I see this exactly. Hmm? Yeah, I understand. And you're right. I, I agree with you totally. Yeah. All right. Uh, uh, would you uh, help me with time? Um, I don't have a watch. And if, before 15 minutes, if you could give me a sign. Yeah, before. we. It's already 845? No, no, no. Oh, oh, yes. Okay, yeah. Sure. I don't know. Okay, yeah. All right. Very well. Thank you. Sorry. All right, so the next one is 1780. The dignity of the human person implies and requires uprightness of moral conscience. Conscience includes the perception of the principles of morality. There's a cinderesis. Yeah. Application in the given circumstances by practical discernment of reasons and goods. And finally, judgment about concrete acts yet to be performed or already performed.
truth about the moral good stated in the law of reason is recognized practically and concretely by the prudent judgment of conscience. We call that man prudent who chooses in conformity <coughs> with this judgment. And that's what they, uh, we can say examination of our conscience for those acts that have uh, been uh, already uh, done and then those that we are about to uh, or are entertaining in doing, okay? So next, yeah. Conscience enables one to assume responsibility for the acts performed. If man commits evil, the just judgment of conscience can remain within him as the witness to the, un to the universal proof of the good. At the same time, as the evil of this particular choice, the verdict of the judgment of conscience remains a pledge of hope and mercy. In testing to the faults committed, it calls to mind the forgiveness that must be asked, the good that must be practiced, and the virtue that must be constantly cultivated with the grace of God. We shall reassure our hearts before him whenever our hearts condemn us. For God is greater than our hearts and he knows everything. Okay. Uh, this one, next one is very important. Man has the right to act in conscience and in freedom so as personally to make moral decisions. He must not be forced to act contrary to his conscience, nor must he be prevented from acting according to his conscience, especially in religious matters. So it's very important because, uh, you know, the, it, this goes to the core of how you will find some Catholics disagreeing with the church in some things. And, and there are standards to be uh, 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 used and, 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 and are well known as to when that is not, not the word permissible is not, but, but that, that could be uh, morally acceptable depending on the way that the person formed the conscious about that. Okay, so, so, for example, this right to make his own moral decision cannot be forced to act against his conscience. But this conscience have to have been educated to the point that the decision about a particular uh, 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 teaching or of the church is informed, is, is uh, the, con the, 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 the conscious is, is, is informed as to why the church, not only what the church asks, but why. And even with that, after understanding why, you within yourself have a different understanding based on some deep uh, 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 experience some deep awareness of a particular instance of how it would not work for you, it would not work for this other person. It, uh, and, and, and based on that, you have made your conscious. What this is saying is that you cannot be forced to act against your conscious. But your conscious has to be very, very informed. And uh, you have to realize that the teachings of the church are well founded. And, uh, and, and there's uh, a body of, uh, of, of, of uh, writings that you can go and study, analyze as to why. And if once you have completely covered all of that, and you within yourself and, and, and in the presence of God, you have come to this conclusion. Let's say, for example, something very preposterous. Your daughter was raped. She is 14 years old and she's pregnant. Nobody else carries that burden but you. 
Nobody else. Everybody can say whatever. But they're not going to have to deal with the consequences of that. Uh, and you know what the teachings of the church are. And you know what the, what, what, what the church and God will, will want you to do in, in a situation like that normally. Okay? And, and you could even have that as an assessment towards another person that, but now you're living it yourself. And you analyze and you study all, but you say, you know, but how can I endure this? And not only that, ask or force my daughter or convince my daughter to go through with it. Have the baby, etc. No? And then you could make a decision based on all that, that is uh, not only influenced by all that you know, but also by the pressures and, 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 and the conditions of your mental uh, uh, status at that, be at that very moment, and what you see lying ahead of you. And perhaps at the end of it, the decision is to you know, have the abortion which is an evil act. And, and it can, but, but at that moment, with the, what you were living within, what the person was living within himself, uh, very probable cannot be, that, that fault cannot be assessed against that person. Okay, I'm not saying yes or no, God will be the ultimate judge, but ju God is a judge of justice. And that's what that is saying here. Every person makes that decision, but it has to be very well informed. And there got to, there's got to be circumstances that are actual, not just hypothetical. Okay. Again, uh, it's sort of a timely subject because I just had this conversation with my 13-year-old daughter the other day. In the schools, they're actually being programmed to accept abortion oh, yeah. and against mm -hmm. everything you teach and they're programming them and they're inserting those arguments mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. the kids. Mm -hmm. I had mm -hmm. in school they're being taught well you know how mean these people are against abortion because even in the case of rape